says, you can imagine crypto replacing the U.S. dollar. Quote, U.S. isolationism could undermine the dollar's status as the world's reserve currency, Lazard Chief Executive Officer Ken Jacobs said. To the extent that we have unilateral foreign policy and unilateral trade policy, we're sort of tempting the world to find an alternative, he said in a Bloomberg television interview. Probably the greatest demonstration of soft power is the fact that the U.S. has the reserve currency of the world. So he says Bitcoin could replace the U.S. dollar. Well, we're right on track from what we predicted on this show five years ago, that at some point the various nation states would have to give up and realize that their fiat money currency systems from central banks don't work. Even Martin Wolf, who is one of the most blue-blooded establishment hacks of the financial times, is now essentially espousing Bitcoin and full reserve banking over fractional reserve skullduggery and property market Ponzi schemes in the UK. That's quite a turnaround. Yeah, but uh, the fact that Lazar Bank is also saying this, and they're the, the most establishment bank, uh, French bank and well, well also, Lazar Frere, you know, Felix Rohatton, which was their CEO back in the 70s and 80s, they mm -hmm. orchestrated the Municipal Assistance Corporation or MAC bond turnaround from New York City. They're the go-to advisors yeah. for the insiders of these uh, various nation states and they have a great reputation and they are see the writing on the wall. They realize that Bitcoin is about to kill all fiat currencies deader than a bag of hammers. But you and I have also said here on Kai's report, you heard this here first, we did say on Kai's report years ago that when you, the U.S. started using unilateral power, the fact that we're in a unipolar world led by the U.S. as an empire, they do, they do have a lot of power, but they don't because as soon as they use their unilateral power, alternatives spring up. When they start imposing um, restrictions on people accessing the global financial system through SWIFT, for example, we said Bitcoin's going to be used as an alternative or gold or something like that. So this is what we're seeing with statements like this coming from Lazard Bank. It's not like it's coming from RBS, which has no power on the world. Right, stage. Lazard does. There's two mutually exclusive pieces. So very interesting, and I don't think it's anytime soon where Bitcoin will kill the U.S. dollar or replace the U.S. dollar, but it's an interesting concept because it is true that obviously there's a lot of countries, primarily China and Russia, that do not like the fact, and even the um, other oil countries as well, that do not like the U.S. dollar and do not want to use the SWIFT banking system, so they are looking for uh, alternatives, and that's why there is a lot of future promise in cryptocurrencies. And like I said, if the U.S. continues to make people upset uh, the way we're going with our trade wars and everything like that, it's just going to help accelerate and fuel uh, the use of cryptos and people wanting to move off of the dollar. Um, but there's other factors as well that I've mentioned in this channel. Uh, one is obviously central banks just printing too much money. And obviously not the U.S., but other countries that have serious inflation problems. But let me know your thoughts on this and what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys soon.